hey, we're going to make rillettes for the first time this week. Uh, that's a French preservation method which turns pork into a spreadable pate, basically, that you can enjoy on toast. We've never tried making this recipe before, and the ingredients are pretty cheap, so this seems like a great way to be fancy on a budget. I don't measure things in advance, so... Mm. These are all berry spice. This is going to have to be picked out? No, that's why I brought a mortar and pestle. Oh, I'm okay. a genius. I got some peppers, like some peppercorns, and mustard seed. I know nothing of ratios. I am just adding it in there. And then I'm going to put this in here. Want all this diced and put in? Garlic whole, what about the herbs? Um, you can put the herbs in, just peel the leaves off. So I got thyme and rosemary. How are you guys? Fine, why? You really shouldn't be around me when there's sharp objects involved. Ew, it makes sounds. Yeah, two inch squares would be fine. And that's fine. Do you add water? No, oh. no, this is gonna be fat. Just fat, lots of fat. That's why I got some butter is because I'm not sure if there's enough fat in the pork because it's been stripped a little bit. Toss that whole puppy in. The paper can later be used for all sorts of arts and crafts. <laughs> Toss it in on low and cover it and let's leave it in for overnight. So this didn't work. Then we're gonna fix some mistakes and start with some mustard seeds. Ground first because it doesn't grind as easily when you have other stuff in the bowl. Did you know that uh, uh, mustard seed is uh, Eye of Newt? There's a uh, chef in culinary school who uh, she's playing around with a big uh, pot of soup and said, ooh, needs Eye of Newt. Teacher came over, tasted it and said, doesn't need any mustard seed. That's when she learned Eye of Newt is mustard seed toe a frog is something else. All those uh, things refer to different uh, plants. And this time, this time we got like a big pork shoulder and just like a Boston butt and put that in there because it's got more fat on it. And the bone is in there too. Vegetables on top of that? Sure. I mean, we can mix them in. Just don't want them to be on the bottom again. I think this will have like more fat in it so that it'll like produce more fat and it can cook in more fat. A little bit of wine. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing? Yeah, we're just going to pour it off later, so. I mean, if you think the important thing is to make sure that there's like moisture and flavor going into this. I don't know what we're doing. I'm going to like try and strain this out. Now what I have in here is fat and juice, which I should be able to just do that and, and grab more fat anytime I need more fat. So what what we're looking for with this is that it should is that it should at some point like stop looking like blended meat and start to look like a like it's turning into a paste. I mean that's looking that's looking like meat paste. So let's add some some fat in there. It's definitely gonna need some of that. Yeah, so just a little bit more fat. Do you want to add duck fat to it? Seriously? Hmm. I don't know. You want to do just pork for this one? Yeah. try a bit? Yep, that's pulverized pork. <laughs> but does it taste good though? Oh, yeah, would it, it tastes taste fine. Like, would it taste really good spread on a cracker? Oh, sure. Do you want to add more fat to it? Or, or do you think this is about right? Mm, I think that works. Then you're supposed to top it off with fat? No, I was going to say, uh, I was, should I grab another couple small containers? Yeah. That'd be great. Okay, and then we're gonna put this in the fridge. 
um, and let it the fat solidify on top. So now it's the next day. We want to try our, our, our creation. Um, I, I have to say the, the uh, fat on top did not turn out the way I thought it would. I think a lot of what we thought was fat in our pan was actually liquid. I think it also uh, was supposed to cool down completely before you did the fat before layer. Before you put the fat layer on? I don't know. We'll have to look it up. But uh, yeah, we thought we gave it a try. I made some chutney to go with it. It's still a little warm. Um, I, I've never made a chutney before, so I just put things in it that sounded like they would go in chutney. So there's some vinegar, some white wine, <coughs> some shallots, um, dried apricots, blueberries, cherries, and dried cranberries. I think that's everything I put in there. Um, and some spices like cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, allspice. So... It just sounded like it would be delicious on there. So, let's see. I've also got pickles and mustard in case we want to do it that way. Um, let's try the regular one first. It is spreadable. Definitely meets the spreadable test. Still might have added just a touch more liquid. Not much, just a touch. So, definitely can spread it. I think it's actually pretty good now that it's now that it's cold, like texture-wise. And maybe it it was benefited by having some more liquid in it as we packed it, or some fat, or whichever it was. I'm gonna try a bite, just a try a bite. Uh, pretty good. Yeah, that worked. Mm, it's great with a chutney. <laughs> Cold chutney, I think, would work better, but this is still pretty good. I'm wondering if you would pre-assemble it for lunch or assemble it on site. Hmm, I think you'd partially pre-assemble. I think you want to toast the bread beforehand or else it would get too soggy. But, I mean, may maybe some of the joy is, like, assembling it as you eat and, and trying different mm. flavors with each bite. My chutney is really good with this. Would you make this again? Mm, sure. I need another bread. I need a small one. I know it's good if I've got Instagrammable food. Mm. It's okay, I guess. Ha, 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 ha.